Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So excited to share with you this brand I found currently for sale on flipper.com. It currently has a bid of over 12,000 US dollars and that is because it's a brilliant business. There is a ton that we can learn from these guys. So make sure you stay tuned. Before we jump into it to show you some surface level numbers, they are a $2.5 million brand. They have a conversion rate of 4% and an average order value of 85 Australian dollars. Now where this is relevant to you and your business, especially if you have already tried your hand at drop shipping and it hasn't worked out for you, plug your numbers or compare your numbers against those that these guys are achieving and that might somewhat highlight the area of your business that may be falling short that you need to put more time, focus and attention into. For example, if you are selling a product in a similar ballpark price-wise, so the average order value is 85 Australian dollars. If you're not achieving a conversion rate of in and around 4%, then your Shopify store is not converting high enough and that potentially could identify where you need to put a bit more time and attention, change things up, run some split tests, um, and then try and prove things in that area. If you're selling a product that is way, way cheaper and you're still not getting to 4%, then obviously the problem is clear. So the business is called Snug Hooks. Um, a really, really cool name when you see the product, it makes total sense. It's a four year old e-commerce site. It sold a total of $2.5 million, um, not to be sniffed at of course, proven sales, 16K plus email list and over 1,000 five star reviews. An average monthly profit currently at the moment of 6.7K, which gives a profit margin of 18%. What's really interesting about these guys as well, in fact, if we come down into the numbers, is that they have produced those sales running Facebook image ads. So it says here, also these results have been generated from two products being advertised with a single image ad used for the Facebook ads. The same image ad has been running and generating the results for the past 12 months. This is a business that would definitely profit from refreshing with some brand new ad creatives. Something to take away from this, if you've been focusing predominantly on video ads and you haven't seen the results, the hopeful results you were hoping for, then try some image ads. They may just be what makes the difference or may just be the right strategy for your product, for you and your business. Typically image ads are significantly cheaper to run, i.e. they have a cheaper CPM. So where this could be super applicable to you is if you are seeing some results and people are purchasing your product and you're running video ads but you haven't quite been able to make it profitable, then the difference between success and failure or being unprofitable and profitable literally could just be changing up the type of ad creative that you're using. So definitely worth a test. As for the operations, it's a very simple business to operate in their own words. Um, over the years, they've flowed between holding own stock in a warehouse and drop shipping. The business has been drop shipping for the past 12 months with two very reliable suppliers that ship products on time for us and also offer free returns within 30 days, which is an awesome and incredibly value asset to have as part of your business. It's a supplier that's willing to take on the entire kind of logistics of the business, including returns. The time commitment of running this business is basically consistent in managing the Facebook ads, although we have given zero time for the past 12 months and just let it run. Submitting orders, a VA does this. All in, a VA could handle these tasks 10 to 15 hours per week, or an owner could do it themselves, working 10 hours per week to earn 120K per year. Not a bad return on investment time-wise. Customers and sales are generated predominantly through Facebook and Google advertising at a spend level of 16 to 18K to generate 50K in sales. They are achieving a 3X ROAS, which is very, very good, of course, with a single image ad that's been running for 12 months. So that gives you some kind of idea into the longevity and what you can expect. When you find something that works, it's not a case of pumping and dumping things week in, week out. You can find things that will work consistently for a number of months, if not years, depending on what your product is of course if you try and sell an led light for a bike in the height of summer you're probably going to struggle whereas if you do have a product that sells all year round the chances are the same creative will do the job financials this is the important bit so sales month to month have been very consistent for us which is a difficult thing to achieve we've been very passive with this brand for the past 12 months and it's brought in 686k in sales with 120k of that being profit so give or take about 20% in profit, and in their own words, very passive as well. I wouldn't recommend it because inevitably things will slowly decline if it's not getting the current attention that it needs, 
But that being said, there are still the majority of the time consumer tasks can be outsourced, as I've said, with a VA, things like placing orders and customer service. Okay, so what product is generating all of these numbers? Let's jump onto the website then. You can see it straight away. Um, the first thing that probably strikes you is how basic this website looks. Um, not to be mean, um, I'm just being completely honest. You probably agree with me if I said that this is a very basic looking website. Um, something that somebody with minimal experience, web design experience could certainly recreate. Even the image they've used looks like it's just been taken on a camera phone. It's not a super professional image. The logo as well, it's just a cloud and then it says snug hugs. There's nothing crazily, crazily over engineered with the creation of this brand, which just really does highlight the importance of putting the right product in front of the right audience. What also stands out is this is an OG theme, people would call it. Um, it's the debut theme. It's the theme that's been discontinued and replaced by the Dawn theme. It's a free theme. You do not need to pay for a crazy expensive, custom complicated theme in order to generate huge and successful profits. It is all about the product and the ad creatives. Let us use our Koala Inspector. So we can see debut theme, we'll go to products, we'll go to bestsellers. And this is their best selling product, which was also confirmed in the sales screenshots as well. If we come back up to the top here, we can see the premium cuddle companion and the premium sleep headphones are their top selling products. And that is currently this year. So we'll take a look at both of those in this video. So best selling product number one, best selling products this year. If you've been in the drop shipping space for longer than four seconds, you will have seen this product before. This is the definition of a saturated product. This product has been done numerous times over the years. The reason why these guys have been successful is because they brought it to a country where it hasn't been done numerous times over and over again by dropshipper after dropshipper. I would, if you try to take this product to the US, I think you would really struggle because that's where most people tend to go when they start a dropshipping business. Australia is not one of those countries. I still believe there's a massive opportunity for this product. It's proven in Australia, it's proven in the UK, it's proven in America. Bringing it to Europe is definitely worth exploring if you're a budding dropshipper looking for a product and a strategy to follow. They are not selling this product for a cheap price either. 50 Australian dollars. You can buy this delivered on AliExpress for less than five US dollars. So they're making some good profit margins too. If you've never seen these products before, then basically what it is, is it's a headband, a cotton, a soft headband that goes around your ears with tiny little speakers in so that when you're listening to music, audiobooks, watching Netflix on your phone, you can lie on the side um, without getting an ear pain. Everybody's had that ear pain when they've tried to lie in bed with headphones in. Um, it's super, super uncomfortable. You can only do it for a few minutes. This product eliminates that pain point, that literal pain point. The product page set out they follow is one of 2016, 2017. Honestly, if you've never seen my videos before, um, go to my YouTube channel, filter by earliest uploads or oldest videos. Go back and watch some of my earlier ones where I document the very first Shopify dropshipping stores I started. This is basically the exact template I followed. I didn't have the four interest-free payments or a testimonial from a customer here but I probably used this exact um, trust badges. And then look at the description. It's so simple and so straightforward and yet so effective. It just reiterates and really drives home the point. The number one thing to take away from this is when you are judging a product, do not judge it based on what you see on YouTube. Just because people are talking about it on YouTube saying sell this product, sell this product, do not automatically think it may be saturated. The world is a big place and the world exists outside of America and 90% of people drop ship to America. Same thing can be said for this product here too as well. This is a done and dusted product, many people would call it, but it's done and dusted in those popular countries, mainly America and Canada. Do your research, see if there is a market, see if there is an opportunity or a gap in the market to sell this product in a different country. I would say the best strategy anybody can adopt getting into the dropshipping space is to take a tried and tested product and take it to a country where it has not been sold before. They adopt the same strategy with a very simple one line testimonial. In fact, it is the same testimonial from the same person. It's the same trust badges. 
the Snug Hugs Premium Cuddle Companion. So they have actually gone to the extent to change the first few lines of description. In fact, the whole thing has been changed um, and rightly so according to the product. But again, the very same simplistic template and layout. The next thing is well worth noting is they don't have like a shop button or they do have a shop button, but then listed is the individual products that takes them straight to the product pages rather than product collections. Um, they have a reviews page, which details lots and lots of reviews, a mixture of both of their best selling products. They have FAQs too, and they post out a snug hugs daily via Australia post. So people coming onto this store from Australia are seeing postage methods. That they're familiar with. If somebody comes onto your store and just see and just sees standard shipping, it's not the same as seeing Royal Mail if they're from the UK or DPD or a familiar name that makes them feel at home and comfortable and gives off the impression that you are indeed a local business. Little things like that are super, super important and super, super powerful. Just a little touch as well, um, something that I've noticed that I really like um, I try to implement as much as, my, as much as I can into my own stores, is that personal touch with the consumer. Um, I feel like there's, there's, we're going through a transition where, not, where people would almost prefer to pay a little bit more to go with a smaller private independent business where their custom means a lot more versus just handing over their money to Amazon. Now this is not me saying that Amazon is on the decline, the opposite, but what I am saying is that more and more people, I think, the average person probably would prefer to support a private independent business where their custom means a lot more difference. So they have a little kind of synopsis, our story, one of one of her daughters was having problems waking up scared during the night. The team, Carl and Bridges, start to look into natural remedies. So it's given off that family kind of appeal um, and it's a way of kind of building bridges and connections um, with the consumer. And so with that being said, guys, I'm gonna wrap the video up there. I showed you everything I wanted to show you behind this business. Um, I really hope you stayed and stuck with me to the end. Um, I really hope you found some value in this video that helps you go on to create your very own successful dropshipping business. Before you go, if you would like a helping hand starting that successful dropshipping business, somebody with experience to hold your hand through the entire process, then I want to invite you to jump on a Google Meet, a one-to-one -one call with myself, so we can have a chat in a bit more depth and detail. So what you need to do, if that sounds good to you and you wanna find out some more information, in the video description, you'll see a mentorship link. Click that button, it's gonna take you to my page, which will take you through a series of questions. And the questions are there for a couple of reasons. Number one, to keep the time wasters out. Um, that's the reason I'm putting this message at the end of the video. If I put it at the beginning, I'll get loads of time wasters booking up my calendar that aren't that serious. The people who stay and watch my videos until the end are serious and they are the people that I want to work with. So the questions will let me kind of get to know um, what your current experience is, uh, why you want to start a drop shipping business and what your goals are for the following few months. Um, and if you have a positive mindset and you're proactive and you're committed and you have realistic expectations it will take you through to my calendar where i've set apart some time you can book a time and date that suits you in my calendar where we can jump on a call and have a bit more chat um, in depth together so that sounds good to you head over there now get that booked in and i look forward to meeting you cheers